I recently just went self-employed, so I just fell through the cracks um, within the kind of government help scheme. So I just went on to Universal Credit, but I was very fortunate I was able to move back home with my parents at the time. Um, but there was a lot of people who were in a much worse situation than me, but there's light at the end of the tunnel now. Um, yeah. I'm glad to be back, obviously. Oh, absolutely glad. I'm happy. So happy. OK, well, many restrictions lifted today, but the First Minister has said that she's not calling this Freedom Day. We are still in the middle of a pandemic. The Health Secretary yesterday said that cases are likely to rise as restrictions are eased and has urged everyone to take care. Indeed. Alexandra, I'm just looking in the background there to see if Zander's tiptoeing off back to bed because he must be absolutely exhausted after his <laughs> night shift. But, uh, you're keeping there for a bit longer. Thanks very much is. indeed for that. Yeah, thank you. Um, you are watching BBC Breakfast. Still to come on the programme today. As firefighters struggle to contain the wildfires in Greece that have already forced thousands of people to be evacuated, we hear from a British holidaymaker in the region. We'll have that shortly and bring you the latest news and weather, but for now the time is 6.27. Good morning. As well as Hello, good morning. COVID, a 24-year-old girl who's been questioned by detectives in West Scotland, and a 2-year-old girl who's been questioned in the future. The child was taken by ambulance from the hospital. The woman has been questioned by the hospital. A very good morning to you. You are watching Breakfast with John Kay and Louise Minchin. At the time, half past six, Monday morning. And on Breakfast with us this morning, fresh from Tokyo, we're going to be joined here in the studio by Olympic gold medalists Adam Peaty and Max Whitlock, chatting about their success and answering your questions. Do get in touch. Yes, send them in, we'll uh, get them to them. Uh, we'll hear from two paramedics about the pressures of working on the front line during an unprecedented time for the NHS as the latest BAFTA award-winning series of Ambulance returns to our screens. And just after 